Hello, my name is Dementia David. I'm here with last week's winner. What was your name again? Greg Biffle. My name is Greg Biffle. You're a race car driver? Yes. For how long? I've been racing cup for 10 years. Uh, I don't think that's right. The fuck you mean? Your eyes are rather large. Thank you. You're like some kind of bug-eyed dummy. Much appreciated. I know. You're Sterling Marlin. What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Gumroot, so welcome back to NASCAR 14 season. My city Serious apologies for missing a week last week. Last week, I had a hard enough time pulling my ass out of bed and putting my beard on, let alone race car drive. Bitch, I had a feeling that it was gonna come off because all the sticking is gone. We may find ourselves duct taping this beard to my head before the end of this day. Now it's been two weeks since I recorded fucking motherfucking God. Get the duct tape. When I buy a novelty beard, I expect it to stick until the end of time. What kind of cheap ass novelty beards am I buying off of Amazon? It almost looks like Frankenstein, but he had the nubs coming out of his neck. I got him coming out of my temples. It's been two weeks since Dover, so I don't really remember what the hell even happened. The AI could not figure out how to get a proper restart in that outside lane. I kept trying to jump in, and I kept getting wrecked for it. Then the Danica thought she'd be all cute and try to hop over a bunch of bitches on a restart and just clean those positions as a own. They let her get away with murder. If I tried that, I'd be penalized. And what the hell else happened? I think we had like some goofballs running up near the front, getting some good, good runs right there at the end. I'm telling you, it's been too long. I'm lucky this shit tells me that I finished fifth because I don't remember. Well, that fifth place result put us back firmly atop the point standings. Not that firmly, about five points firmly. We got the points lead over Chef Boy RD by five, seven over Redneck Jesus. Three of us still having our own little party. Steve Harvey holds on to fourth and Trevor, the, the, the what? Fish is in fifth. Now let's take a look at who is in the playoffs currently as things stand. Dorp Kozlowski and Giggles Logano, they both got wins. They're the ones that kind of screw this up for me and make it really hard for me to figure out these points. But if I do have it correct, Jeff Gordon Ramsay is the last guy in on points right now. First one getting the boot is Outback Stenhouse. Also getting the boot is the Rhinestone Cowboy. I think. Just don't hold me to that. And then, of course, you got the rest of them. These guys don't really move too much. They're like my pappy, who we put in a hole. He doesn't really move too much anymore, either. My paint scheme for the day! Pocono, my home track. If there was ever a track that I knew, like the back of my hand, it'd be this one. Can you imagine if the back of your hand was in the shape of a triangle? I'm willing to bet you that this beard does not fall off now. Let's get down to the track. Pocono bitch, it's time to turn some tricky laps. Let's get the video started. Let's go. Hi, everyone. Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip welcoming you to the Tricky Triangle, the very unique Pocono International Raceway for today's Pocono 400. Mike, this place is crazy fast. It's unbelievable how fast they're turning this two and a half mile racetrack. Long straightaways. Watch these guys snake their way down through here as they try to pick a draft up off of each other. Darrell, this race 100 miles shorter than last year. Will that make a difference? It's going to make a huge difference. You can go flat out, but one thing you have to always remember, fuel mileage. Keep that in the back of your mind. Right. If you run out of gas on the front straightaway here, it's a long way around this unique trial. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Let's go racing on the tricky triangle, boys and girls. Thank you, Darrell. My brother in Christ! I knew that I was a little rusty when it came to recording these episodes. Like, I had to really think about what I needed to do there for that introduction. I didn't realize I forgot how to drive. We qualified like shit! We're on our way to Pocono. I only could muster up a 41st. I was so bad slow here. The car was so tight. 
at absolutely no speed. We better be able to adjust on this thing soon. Oh, 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 it is plowing so bad. Where's the banking here? Now, they are sparking a lot. They are getting into each other. I thought we were going to have a bit few more laps to run today than 32. I thought it was going to be 40. But this is the first year where they dropped it from 500 miles to 400 miles in the real life. So we don't have as many laps to run. Okay. Oh my god, that hurt my fucking lungs. Think some of that guardrail splintered off and stabbed me right in my, in my fucking chest. Compressors. Shit, I think a little bit of that guardrail pierced the brain of my engine, too. Well, this works. We needed to make a pit stop anyway. I just caught a view of this in my camera, and I'm like, damn, that looks stupid. We made big-time adjustments. I took wedge, lots of wedge out, took out tire pressure. This shit should be able to corner now. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, why am I so bad here? I thought I knew this, like... The back of my head! Tell you, it's kind of weird that I took this vacation and I still don't feel like I'm back in my rhythm. Like, I just completely forgot how to record videos. Just what I'm supposed to do. I'm so used to doing this and I can't remember. Probably didn't help that I've been sick as a fucking dog ever since I got back. They are getting into each other so much. These guys are finally sharing their true feelings for one another. What the fuck? The Danica is leading. Oh, I'm going to end up hitting Jim Jim Yaley around in the tunnel turn again. I remember at Dover, you were being a real dick to me. What the? Oh, oh! Um, what the f Are you clear? The road's now open. Crew's on the wall. Apparently, David Roto Rooter, Trevor Braid, got beef. Trevor Braid done went and pissed off David Roto Rooter so bad, so bad that Roto Rooter said, Cruise Bitch, I'm a fucking flip you. At Pocono. We have not seen a flip like that from the Eutechnic Saga since Dover of 2013 when Bushy Bushy just decided to backflip his shit. What the hell is going on? Bruh, you good? I don't believe I've ever seen that before. I don't think I've seen. I, we've seen the AI just do it on their own. But for the AI to get into the back of another AI and just... I'm a little bit terrified right, going down into this corner now with these AIs. I don't the know what the fuck they're capable of. I'm especially going to keep my back. distance from the 35 car. Oh, man. I mean, uh, he should have been going that slow. I, hey, how about you give me some fucking room? I cranked so much wedge out of this damn car. There's there's no wedgies to be had. You can't give me a wedgie if I ain't got no underwear on. This is brutal. I can't make up any ground. I'm just stuck back here having to watch all them have a grand fucking all time. Now I'm getting passed by sideburn fever. I am so bad. Yeah, I rode out of that one like a fucking stampede of water buffalo straight out of hell. Better watch out. Cyborg fever might give me the Trevor Braid treatment. Why can I not get this car to turn at all? I, how much more wedge could I possibly have to crank out of it to get it to go through these fucking corners? I'm just going to let Cyborg fever go right on by this time. Because I ain't looking to get my shit flipped. McDouche, if anyone's gonna flip me in this field, I know it'd be you. Stand clear! I know people that'll fuck you up. They'll put you in the deep fryer. Seriously, starting to get fucking pissed off. I can't go anywhere! Here comes Redneck G's fucking... 
stay behind me, bitch! If some shits do not change, Chef Boyardee, I just saw he was up all the way up pit stops, but he was up near the lead. We're gonna stand to lose a ton of points. McDouche stacked everybody coming out of turn one like only McDouche can. Brought them all back to me. It's almost like he wanted to work with me. Shit, I think the 35 and the 21 are back in close proximity. We better keep a camera view on that. Yep, that's the 35. I do not want to be near him. Ah! Welcome to Michael Moves' mid-race report presented by Gas Can Water. David Roto-Rooter, scariest guy in the field. He will just use the flick of the front of his bumper and send you catapulting, careening into the trees at Pocono. So I'm going to make sure I stay clear of him. I don't know what's wrong with this car. Oof. He probably gonna fuck me up. It is so hard for me to get any sort of speed out of it. It is so hard for me to go forwards. Whoa, 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 they're going big slow as only little baby T-Rex could. Rawr! Can I actually get this car working in a way where I can make good, good lap time before the end of this race? We're gonna have to make a pit stop soon. I'm gonna crank some more wedge out of it. Probably do something with the track bar, maybe something with the tire pressures. I gotta keep working. Hopefully, we can get some sort of halfway decent, respectable finish before the end of the race. Where? Uh oh, they're wrecking! Oh my god. On to pit. Let's watch this. What the fuck? The Danica had a tire down, and she got drilled by Kmart. And oh shit! Took out the barrels! Well, now it's put up or shut up time. I have got to put the right setup in this car. Will I? Probably not. This has been Michael Moose's Mid Race Sports for my gas can water. Can we clean up the fucking it barrels, please? We got barrels in pit boxes. Okay. There's a barrel halfway down the pit. Hey, the Danica, are you gonna be all right? That looked like a hell of a hit into those barrels. Sand Castle, last in points, is leading the race. All because we had pit stops taking place already. Everything's got flipped up on its head because of the Danica wrecking. Oh my god. Uh oh. Can I? Oh yes. Oh my god. The car actually handled pretty well through there. Maybe I did what I need to do and I can start to put some laps together here. We still have a pretty long run to end this race. Could we see more tire blowouts like what the Danica had and another wreck? Maybe someone getting into the back of someone else. Wow, oh my, damn. I overdrove the absolute hell out of that corner because I had people all up my ass and now I lose like five fucking spots. Tell you, this race has been particularly stupid. Redneck Jesus making that outside work. This has been an especially you technic saga e episode of the Eutechnic Saga. I sure thought that I was going somewhere with the car, with the adjustments that I had. No, no, we're going back to where the fuck we were. Are you fucking kidding me? You had to stick your fucking McDouche fucking face in there. Your little Weasley McDouche fucking face with your spiky fucking hair. That about sums up my day right there. At least I'm not in last. At least I dragged him down to hell with me. Uh-oh, we got pit stops happening. I don't think we can all make it to the end. Nine laps here is still a ton of time. We still have a quarter of this race left to go. I don't think we could all make it. Much more pit stops, and I just put up a lap a half a second quicker than my previous fast lap. Don't have people slowing me down, getting in my way, and making me check up. Now I'm able to run fast. I'm fucking 10 seconds off the leader, though. Getting closer to this group, it's just, it's really not enough. I'm gonna still end up back here if nothing changes through this cycle of pit stops, if I just end up having to stop. We got six to go, can we stretch it? That's the only way I'm getting out of the 40s today. We actually might be able to pull this off. I didn't think that there was any chance in hell that we were gonna make it to the end of the race with what we had, but I might have just enough fuel and just enough tire 
to turn another four and a half laps. Better hope that I can make it, otherwise my finishing position is gonna look like it was beaten with a shit stick. I'm assuming that it's because the leaders are in traffic. I'm quicker than the leaders. I've made up a fair amount of time. We'll be on two to go this next time by. That right rear ain't making it, but I was running in the 40s, so I'm willing to Kansas this bitch and try to finish the race on three tires. Let's fucking go! I think we got the fuel to make it. We just definitely, definitely do not have the tire to make it. That shit is gonna blow, probably within the next lap. Ow! Steady, oh my god, that's the last thing I fucking needed! Well, that was just some sort of a wake-up call, I guess, just to make sure that I'm locked in for this Chris final tired. lap. We have the fuel. We don't gotta worry about oh, that. We are the leader. White flag! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me right now. I should not be leading this shit. When is that right rear gonna explode? I have a massive lead. Oh my god, does my throat fucking hurt. It sounds like I've been choking on dicks a lot today. We only have a couple more quarters to survive. And we got another win? We should not have won this doing? race. Final quarter, everybody. One more. Turn three. Fuck this fucking turn. The goddamn car would have turned through here all day. The tires are going to last. We are going to outlast everybody else and win yeah, at Pocono. That right there might be the biggest bullshit win I've ever gotten. Fuck it, there it goes. It's almost like I planned it that way, that the tire was gonna let go when I started my victory donuts. Absolutely unfucking real There is no reason why I should be celebrating this victory. Jibai, do not get happy. That was a sorry excuse of a race car. Do not let Chad feel good about this one. What the fuck? We backed our asses heavily into that. Led two laps, end up winning the race on a tire that had about a centimeter's worth of rubber left on it. What the fuck is this top 10? Gilligan, or I'm gonna read this through for you guys. Me. Gilligan, Jim Jim Yaley, David Ragu, it's Whitney, bitch, Trevor Braids, Peter Parker, Mikey Walnuts, Lil Baby T Rex Rar, and Lil Bow Wow. What? That's literally 33rd to 43rd of this race that somehow ended up in the top 10. This bitch saw Jesus and he ends up with a six. Oh, and it doesn't end there. Little Joe Nematode, David Roto Rooter, the fucking devil. Man is like the executor of the NASCAR Cup Series. Kmart? The Danica, who destroyed a shit ton of barrels. Carl Jr., okay. Marie Antoinette. There are 15 people in this top 16 that shouldn't be there. The fourth wise man, Sandcastle. Did I just blow it from stupid town? All the people you would expect to be up near the front, they're just, they're all back here. Bitch, you belong there. I can't wait to check out these point standings because I'm gonna be even more fucking confused than I was before Pocono. Roto Rooter is like, bitch, you owe me money. Let's remember, there was a point today where I thought I was gonna lose a ton of points to Chef Boyardee. That didn't happen. We now have a commanding point lead over Chef Boyardee. 31 whole points and holy shit. Why? I mean, bitch isn't actually in third. He's still in fifth, but still having a tremendous year. I don't think my mind can handle much more of this or this. And these guys being down this far are not going to help me understand what the hell the points actually are. Well, this bitch ain't in the top 30 anymore, so that makes it a little bit easier for me. Last driver in now, Outback Stenhouse, I think. Next closest to him would be T-Rex. Who is 11 points off of his back bumper? I tell you, for not having done this in a couple of weeks, for being completely out of my rhythm, out of sync, out of the loop, this was a hell of an episode to come back to. I'm done. I can't handle anymore. Next week is Michigan. Pocono. We won Pocono. That's about all I know from this video today. I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love it.
eh, every single last one of you. If you did like it, please leave a thumbs up on the shits. Let the thing thing, the thumb. I'd appreciate it greatly. I'm out. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Goodbye!